folks oh my god we are here present and accounted for consistency was is listen the bro name of the game. listen we Light. just not gonna talk about it i just okay, don't want to talk gonna about it we're we, gonna jump right I, into it we, just know i'm okay. sorry i'm sorry All it's right. my fault i take full responsibility <laughs> But, but I'm gonna, back. Make, I'm back. We're gonna make this happen, and we've had the talk about. We've always talked about interviewing people, and we've done a, a couple of interviews on here. We've interviewed a college professor. We've interviewed a esports director. We've interviewed interviewed a dope uh, uh, female a dope, streamer. Uh, female streamer. We've we've done some interviews. Now today is something special, and it's in the series of expanding our interviews is we actually have somebody we know and love and related to. It's our little brother, but what makes him extra special on top of the fact that we share genetics, pause. Um. <laughs> <laughs> How you pause genetics? <laughs> I, I pause, people. people. Um, the internet I've, I've never loses. Pause. Just like, yeah, I gave my dad a hug. Listen, pause. Listen, like, what? Listen, the internet. <laughs> pause and I your father. The internet <laughs> will never lose. Yeah, the so, internet will never lose. So bro. you did it, the right exactly. thing. <laughs> yes. So okay, but this young man here, Bryant Jones, is number sixty-two with the L.A. Rams. Hey. NFL. Yes, sir. D tackle. Yeah. What? What the heck? Like I remember this kid riding a bike to the gym, and now he's like NFL dude. Okay, so I got to give a, a quick story because, of course, I got to go off tangent. I go to his training camp, and we walking around, and people are just screaming this dude's name, Brian Jones, number sixty-two. Sign this, sign that. Why am I saying it with an accent? I don't know. <laughs> I don't but, know. Hey, no. You no, probably legit. heard somebody with an accent and decided. Yeah, that, the game. that's what happened. Legit, mm-hmm. this kid walked up and like tried to press him for his headband. Oh, All really? sweaty. He was like, "Can I have your headband?" <laughs> and then he was like, "Nah." He was like, "Well, can I have your towel?" <laughs> then, hey, I they, think, don't I, they just want any and everything? Yeah, but you know when you you when you're younger, you want it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, younger, I still do. Can I have a shoelace? Yeah, can I? Can I? Is, <laughs> no, I watched the dude take would... somebody. What? Legit. He was like, I'll take your tape. Oh. And he grabbed the tape off of somebody. And I Listen, was like, if Dang. Steph Curry's mouthpiece can be sold on eBay. <laughs> oh, somebody would definitely buy it. Somebody, somebody would probably would try to call him. Definitely them. buy your tape. Okay. That's... But yes, that that is this is something special. I mean, I don't know if this is more of a celebratory moment, but um, just before we go any further, I just want to say I'm proud of you, dude. Uh, you really, you've worked hard as hell, and you're working hard. Mm-hmm. I know, right? Start crying and stuff. I'm tearing up, getting all soft. <laughs> oh, um, but no, I truly am proud of you, and it, it's so crazy to be able to see a large portion of your journey. Um, now, before we go any further, I guess I should introduce it us. Uh, this is Ventures of the Black Nerds. I'm Baron J67. Man, we here. We ain't going. You know, we here. We here. We here. <laughs> we, we yeah, that's, here. that's Keith Jones with the placeholder in front. Stop um, hating on me, man. Dang. <laughs> why every, I, I, why I, every time we get on here, you be hating? I don't be hating. It's just be so hating. funny because I'm out the loop. I didn't know for all these years that those exes weren't supposed to be recognized and acknowledged. Yeah, they're not. That's why what it's, it's internet, so interesting What part of the internet dynasty have you not been in? This I is, just I just always would read people's like, back XXX Avatar. What's this up, man? This goes back like, to the beginning, <laughs> the beginning ages of PlayStation Three, bro. I just never. Little X, big X. Well, actually, no. Yeah, little X, big X. What up, man? Yeah. Like I, I didn't know. You don't I, recognize I had, those. I always would read like, them out loud. Hey, and, and you know, do you know what the, the 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 misconception of people with numbers in their in their name is that they're noobs. So really, yes. The the misconception is if you got numbers in your name, you're a noob. Oh, because you're trying to get a name that don't exist. Either that, somebody else got it. exactly. Either that, or uh, you are actually the the whatever the whatever it is. The Baron J six seven. You are the sixty seventh Baron J. Baron. <laughs> oh, that made me sound super noobish. Uh-huh. Yeah. Dang. So if people didn't know that that was like. 
Hey, that's what, it, it. that's what it used to be, man. I used to have a seven in front of my in front of my in front of my uh, TJ. It was TJ underscore seven. People thought I was the seventh one. You didn't want to one v one me though. So I got yeah, scraped, yeah, and I was yeah, like, "Now nah, I'm good." He wasn't ready for the for the guy. Yeah, I'm you, good. I'm good. See me in see me in the waist. Hey, but no, but okay. So, oh, and I guess you can introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. My name is Brian Jones. Brian Jones. I play for the LA Rams. Brian Jones. Brian Jones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Brian. your number out, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Brian <Six> Jones. Two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, but real talk. Now, now that we got you here, mm-hmm. um, one of the things I wanted to ask is, what was your journey to this point? Just tell. I mean, we know, but <laughs> tell the people, like from you know beginning to today. How did you? Where, what led you to this point? Mm. A lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice that I didn't know. I sacrificed until now. It was just something I would get up and do. Just felt wrong if I didn't do it. Mm. Mm. Feel yeah, that was deep on. Yeah, yeah, that was. It crazy. is. So, you know what? Because yeah. I can honestly tell you that. Like when if when I become accustomed to something, if I don't do it, like at the time of the day that I'm supposed to do it, I feel weird. So I can I can actually understand that. That's that's dope, man. And don't let me watch a video of somebody working out. Then I oh I could do that. Then if I don't do it, I'd be like, oh, maybe <laughs> just get up in the middle of the night, go do it, and <laughs> go do it. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> But um, but no. So, what college did you go to? What um, have you always played? What position are you in? Have you always played that position? Oh, I went to Mississippi Valley State University. Delta Devils. Yes, sir. And I went played defensive tackle, but in high school I played center, guard, and DN. Mm. I sure forgot you was on O line. Mm-hmm. You're a long way from O line. Which one do you like better? Defensive tackle. Mm. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Yeah, so there we go. That's home right there. Yep. Bro, <laughs> That's home. This, this is this is so crazy. Like you going full circle. Like you going from growing up in Southern California, playing high school ball and junior all American in Southern California, going all the way to Mississippi to play college ball, and then to end up back here on the Rams. How did it feel when you first what was that feeling of first finding out? that you have an opportunity to play in the NFL? Well, it was like, <laughs> it was like, you know, you go on the roller coaster and it just goes down and yo, you feel everything drop Ooh. in your stomach, but it don't, it don't hurt, but it just feels different. But you feel good when it's done. Mm-hmm. That's how I was talking on the phone with the coach. Really? When he first called me, yeah. Then, you know, I teared up a little bit. Man, seen mom tear up a little bit. She over there calling people like, oh, the race talking to the Rams. Mm-hmm. But um, other than that, after I got off the phone, I really, it really didn't set in until after the tryout and the coach telling me, oh, you know, we want to sign you and stuff. But um, I still didn't believe it until I got, start getting information from the Rams people calling me from the Rams and seeing emails and the little signature at the bottom, it has the Rams logo on mm. it. I'm like, okay, that's up, <laughs> it's getting real. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's, I, that's pretty cool. Even looking at like your, like following you throughout your college career, it was like, yo, yeah. something is different. Yeah. Cause you can see the progression, yeah. not only with you personally, but statistic wise, all of that stuff is there. So yeah. after having the season that you had and then going on to the NFL, was that how was it? Did it send you for a loop? Was it mind blowing after? Was it mind blowing when you finally got that that paperwork to sign? Say, hey, this is official. Or was it like, was it a relief? Um, It was mind blowing, but it wasn't a relief because people think once like, Everybody thinks you made it once you sign that paper, but mm-hmm. after that, you still have steps to go through. You had training camp, then you had preseason, 
then you get to see if you made the roster okay. after preseason. Man. So you so it's still work to do. To it's done, a lot yes. of work to do. Yep. That's hey, cool. and you and you know what? And that's another thing too. You know, everybody doesn't have access to somebody who's going through the process or who has been through the process. So to have like this is all super new to us. <laughs> you know, like I don't know too many people personally who done anything like this. So um to to experience this to be sitting right here, you know, um it, it's it's such a it's such a trip for me and um I'm happy to be able to witness the journey this close. Yeah. And um something that I've always wanted to know is just um what um do you guys have like a what is a day in the life of an NFL player? Mm. Like and start <laughs> off with camp with training camp how is training camp life of course as much as you can talk about yeah i guess my point to that is like how routine is it like is it yeah like what yeah is it heavily regulated yeah so it's pretty lax in the morning you just wake up at 6 15 all meals are mandatory so you wake up go to breakfast they check off your name it's a picture of you they just highlight it <laughs> and you know you can eat whatever you just gotta keep in mind you got practice coming up later in the day then after breakfast six fifteen, um you have meetings like at eight o'clock like a team meeting at eight o'clock well special teams meeting before that 20 minute special teams then the team meeting then the offense and defensive meeting you'll be in there for about an hour and 30 if you have extra film probably two hours and right after that you take a shuttle to go to the school or wherever facility you're training at then off the shuttle you probably have about 45 minutes to get dressed for practice do your little routine or whatever and you practice for about two hours then after practice it'll be around probably close to four o'clock five o'clock then uh, no practice started at four o'clock, so it tries to be done around maybe around six. Mm-hmm. You get back to the hotel after you shower at the school, whatever. You eat dinner. Then meetings are an hour after that. Then you sit in meetings for another probably hour and thirty minutes. Then after that, you have snack at like nine thirty. And you got to check in for snack. No, nah, not snack. Oh, okay. So you have dinners, of course, before the meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Snack is just for you. By that time, it's about uh, ten o'clock, depending on what time your coach Dang. lets you out. And then bed check at eleven. Then you just redo it in the morning. <laughs> Man, that you, you that is so all intense. day. <laughs> oh, right. Then you have weights when you get to the facility before practice. You have weights. Dang. <laughs> that okay. So. When I hear that, folks, folks out there, they work. This ain't, this ain't, that's work. That is, <laughs> that's more work than I ever. That's a full day. I, you get I, at least more than 12 hours in for sure. Man, yeah. I didn't, you know what? I guess I, you know, you, well, you hear these, that NFL players have to work out. I just didn't know how controlled yeah. it is, you know, like. I would just don't start the meeting until, say, if a meeting started at seven o'clock, they would sit there. It could be, 655 they just sit there quietly looking at everybody until seven o'clock oh because wow. everybody's it's real regimen it's real yeah. regimen. Okay. that makes sense dang i always i always wondered that <laughs> because you know because we all we see is you guys whatever's on camera you on guys field, warming up yeah that's all we see and then like when they started doing um what's that dang show hard knocks we started knocks. seeing Seen more them. into the world to the meetings to the worries the the locker room you know we started getting more of that but just to be able to hear it from the you know from the horse's mouth like yeah mm-hmm. boom. this is how it is this is yeah dang i just ooh we <laughs> so Man, i was in for a rude awakening in high school and yeah. in college <laughs> but it's it's more structured than college, I'll say. Yeah. You know, college, they just want to tear you down. Some colleges build you up, but some schools don't have enough money to build you up, so mm-hmm. you just get tore down. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you might have to build up on your own. Okay. Ah, I got you. So, so you mean just lack of investments? Yeah. Like if the school doesn't have the money to provide different 
got you equipment and stuff got you but um with the nfl it's like it's a job there's no restarting periods like oh y'all want to mess around let's restart practice nah it's oh you messed up you missed your rep I'll keep going. That clock never stops. Mm, yeah, yeah. Cause you guys are on the clock. Like yeah, you guys, on this the is, you guys are employees. Yeah. yeah. Man, dang. That's so, it. so there's no, there's no like correction or I mean obviously they would talk at, to you if you time, yeah. mess up, but it's like that's it. Yeah, like say if you're doing drills, if you mess up on the drill, come back. You can redo it real quick. But other than that, you don't get like if you mess up. More than three times, you know, y'all, let's move on. So beyond, Damn. okay, so beyond that, how much of it is, well, do you really need to do anything else off the field? Like, like, do you need, do, I mean, do you need to really do anything else outside of? Oh, I get what he's asking. The facility? Because you're pretty like much doing day. everything there. Do you do anything yeah, like, on your own? Yeah, there you go. Um, Yeah, you could get the lift in. Like, some days I get a lift in before. Like before practice, you know, just even though it's not called for, but you know, just get a quick pump in. Yeah. You no, know, just something. But um, you can always do something on your own, but everything you need to do is at the facility. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you could just go after hours, go to the facility, do whatever you need. You got the field, it's always open and stuff. So, mm-hmm. oh, so you got you as a player always has access yeah, we always to have the weight room and stuff like that. Yep. That is cool. Man. Do you guys have like a nutritionist who keeps all you guys on, on track? Yep. Oof, man. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, if they gonna go, if they going through all that, oh, they I mean, it. yeah. I mean, I you know, I just gotta add. That's heck yeah. That's crazy. So, I, did you get like a specified meal plan? Um, no, nah, not really. You know, they have like a um, an image up, or they have just the stuff like what the meal is. Mm-hmm. Then they have like little icons and there's another sheet that tells you what the icons mean and another sheet shows you what your plate should have on it okay so you can eat off that like oh this morning we're eating for a high intensity workout oh so let's go to have this this and this then lunch oh just got done with practice recovery meal okay so anti-inflammatories you know protein stuff to cover. okay Man. So what what's been um before we move on to everything else going on in the gaming and <laughs> world what what's been your mo- the most enjoyable part about this experience so far this journey you're on um up to this point um, interacting with um different fans the community okay doing the little community um projects that the Rams do okay every year you know this just you want to name some of the ones you've done so far? Going to uh, um, Cedar Sinai. Oh, okay. The hospital. The hospital. That's a good one, yeah. 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 Then we did um, rebuild. We built the playground. Oh, that's cool. Then um, what else we do? We do a lot of them. Huh. Um, we did. Uh, then we... Did y'all do a? Uh, what'd you do a five k? Yeah, yeah the, the marathon. marathon. Okay. You got the marathon. There yeah. you go. Home walk. Oh, the there homeless. you go. Yeah. Oh, the, well, that was for the homeless. Yes. Yes. Okay. No, that's cool, man. Look now, folks. We here at ABN at Ventures of the Black Nerds ABN. Um, the thing that makes us us is our just the nerd nerdiness of <laughs> of everything. Every when that, for me, nerd is something that you have an absolute passion in that you could talk about in your sleep that you light up like a little kid when somebody brings it up and to see this man here and go from doing something that he started doing as a kid playing football for fun to stay in shape to stay active to turn it into his now career you don't get nerdier no, than that you like don't. you really don't that's like when you hear stories about people oh i was drawing and then now i draw for marvel you know, yeah. like I used to sketch, and now I sketch for Marvel. It's the exact right. same thing. Yeah, that's what man. That's it's concept so wise. It that it, that the, was the perfect the way to say that. It, it is that, and that's why I love seeing people who are manifesting their their nerd, mm-hmm. and especially uh, when they manifest it in a way that provides for them and that helps them feed themselves or feed their families. That is the most. That to me, that is the peak 
nerdiness. Like you took something that you enjoy doing and you pursued it to a point to where it pays your bills. <laughs> you can't you can't beat that. Like no. that that's one of the that's that's I think that should be a goal for everyone in life. Like it, something you truly enjoy, something that gives you that passion, that fire, something you would get excited about. If you can take that and truly turn that into a way to feed yourself and provide for yourself. If you get rich, cool. If you don't, you have fun for a living. Because if it ain't work, if you enjoy what you're doing, exactly. it really that's really the case. Um, so now moving on to uh, video games. How does it feel that you're about to be in Madden? <laughs> like, 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 oh, you know what? Well, speaking, okay, answer that because I got, I got mad questions. You know, you know the the topic of the year is people's ratings. Like, yeah, because that we got, that you don't have a rating. We got to know, like, what do you think your rating? Uh, well. I mean, I don't know if we can talk on that. I don't but, know Yeah, I got you. I don't know how far you can go into that. I don't want to get nobody in trouble. But I just, I, I have never had the urge in my life. Both of you guys are my brothers. Y'all know. Yeah. I never had the urge to buy Madden. I'm buying it. I am Collector buying the collector's all. edition. <laughs> I am getting everything. And I, I am getting it all. Updates. I'm about the main, I, I want it I'm about all. the main of D-Tackle. <laughs> Bro, I'm buying every Madden from here on out for your career. Mm. I am buying a Madden. Bro. Okay, do you think the ratings are fair? Like, I, I just got to know. I got to know, do you think these ratings are these? I, I, for the people we've actually seen, they're 99 ratings. Do you think they're fair? Like with Aaron Donald? Like yes. yes. Oh, well, I've yeah. seen that man when up you, close. When you see it in person... Hey, what he does. Did yes, you see man. his? Do you see the thing they sent him? Yeah, I was there in the. I was right next to him when they. <laughs> him the oh box. really? Oh, man, that's yeah, crazy. I, I told they opened the box. I'm like, man, that's real gold. I <laughs> man. Yeah, man. That's, oh my god, it was cool, man. Dude, that's what's up? Oh. We get the Madden games for free. Oh uh, yeah. What? I need, hey, look, look, I never even. Man, I probably played Madden because it was Anthony's on that. Else. Not even Anthony's. When I bought that Xbox 360 off of Craigslist, it had Madden on. Yeah, see, like, <laughs> okay. Y'all, 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 you weren't Madden. You were more 2K. Okay, I and and 2K. we're going to get into this. We're going to get into yeah, video let, games. Let me, let, let's, get, yeah. let's give a quick background. So, folks, this is what truly was so funny about this man's story from my perspective is we didn't grow up in a house with teams. Nah. We watched <laughs> boxing. Yeah. Real talk, we watched boxing in all the major games. So Super Bowl, uh, the last game of the NBA Finals. Um, <laughs> the very last one. <laughs> yeah, the last, last game. Like, oh, it's, it's game seven. Oh, yeah, like, we gonna watch this one. Yeah. Game five, I don't know how it works. See, look, I don't even yeah, know how it works. it's game seven. Okay. <laughs> we didn't grow up watching. We didn't have favorite teams. My dad didn't have... Closest thing to a favorite team was the early 2000s Buccaneers. My dad loved Warren, loved Warren Sapp. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's player. one thing. My dad loved Warren Sapp. He had a he had a poster up in his office. Like, that's one thing I do remember. But outside of that, we never so to see to, like to see somebody who didn't grow up like fanboying over over the the teams. Yeah. To see him on a team. It's like what the heck? Like <laughs> what? Like I it, it's it's a it's it's dope, and I feel like I'm talking too much. But now you good? Um, but no, Madden. I've never wanted to buy one. I now, I'm one. the I was the Madden <laughs> fanatic. I yeah. just I'm I'm energized now. Now that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. It's going down, bro. Man, I'm getting it. I, I might even play it. Oh, play me. <laughs> Why? Look, we're not doing all that right now. I'm not doing we're, that right now with you, man. Oh, wait. Somebody, like, let's go. Yeah, run it. Grab the sticks. <laughs> Grab him. Nah, he don't talk mess to the head, say so he talk mess to the messages. Yeah, he, he messes your message. <laughs> that's, oh, th- that's the worst, though. That <laughs> is the worst. Have you ever been losing? Listen. Oh, okay. So let's finish, and then I'll get into this story later. Uh, so what, what other? It was... All right, so it was Madden, but you yeah. didn't grow up playing Madden as 
in, you just said. So what games was it that, like, what was your favorite game growing up? Yeah. Tom Clancy Splinter Cell. Ooh, oh, playing, it, playing it with him. Ooh, we on the, did. On, on the first Xbox. Oh, was, <laughs> oh bro. That was the best game. Splinter Cell. To my eyes. Splinter Cell. Mm-hmm. Best game. <laughs> Sam Fisher. Bro, when you lurk it and you knock a dude over the head because you got a bullet. <laughs> and then he fall and you got to carry him and tuck him away somewhere all you see is green and blue dots yep mm-hmm. oh, hey, do you remember on blacklist when you had to fight other agents mm-hmm. bro you go into a building and all of a sudden you hear bing 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 and, then, and you see lights pop up everywhere and you gotta fight they people got them goggles yeah who are trained crew. just like you bro hey did you ever get to the end of the multiplayer on blacklist Okay, spoiler alert, folks. For those who never played uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist, the end of, I think it was Blacklist, the end of that multiplayer setup that they had, um, that whole different story of it than Sam Fisher, y'all end up on a plane fighting each other. He was like, I can only take one. So y'all been teamwork the whole time, and you get to the end, and y'all got to kill each other. And see who comes out on top. Oh, yes. It was intense. Oh, yeah, I, I never played. I never played Blacklist. Oh, I'm looking it up. That's now. all we used to play with Splinter. So, matter of fact, isn't Blacklist the one where it's like based in Washington? Yeah, you go rogue. You're like rogue, rogue. from the rogue agent. Yeah. Hey, you know what my favorite one was was Double Agent. Oh yeah. Where, but it was creepy because you you were a bad guy, but you were undercover, so you had to like sneak around the enemy base without getting noticed uh-huh. but it wasn't the main game so you were in like a like almost like a menu but you snuck around during the loading time and all that and you would accomplish little missions bro <laughs> hey splinter cell they need another one they were actually people thought they were going to announce it during this last e3 nah. but they yeah they sure didn't come you know, out splinter it was cell. a mobile game they announced <laughs> And no, I don't want a Splinter Cell mobile game. That's not what I want. Somebody's oh, head just went. I got an idea. Oh, <laughs> hey, I'll play. I'll play uh, Splinter Cell on a Nintendo Switch. Splinter Cell. On they the might go, as I'll well. They need to come up with more. Yeah. Um, they gonna bring the PSP back. Nah, well, since we sit here talking about random games you used to play, what games do you enjoy playing right now? Um, like during your limited free time. Yeah. Ghost Recon Wildland. Ooh. Oh, you play that? Yeah, I beat it like three times, but they came out with a ghost mode where you die. Like, if you get killed one time, you got to restart the whole game. So they added permadeath to oh, ghost. So, so did you, okay, so this is the only reason why I wanted to play this game, and I never played it yet, but the only reason why I wanted to play it was uh, the Easter egg, the, um, the, the alien Easter egg. Did you do that? Oh, with the Predator? Yeah. Was, it yeah. was a predator. I, no, yeah, it was predator. predator. Yeah, not alien. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, it uh, takes um about ten. Like if you fly over the jungle, that you could just be doing a regular mission. Mm-hmm. But if you fly over the jungle, you could just hear the predator scream. Oh, okay, really? Like, See, yeah, the clicking. Yeah, like no, the... you just hear the scream. But as you get closer to looking for stuff, you could hear start hearing the clicking. Oh, then you'll see like a little hologram run by. Yeah. See, cause yeah. when when I wa- I watched it and the way it played out, it played out just like a movie, and yeah. literally you were in the forest with like like this open field of just brush, like bushes yeah. and leaves, and it's it's a tree line around you, and you just see people getting lifted up and taken away by the predator. I was yeah, like, they true. put this in this game. It was dope. So wait, so it was always in the game, and yes. you didn't know? Yeah, it's like. Um, what? Over time, you'll see the updates on Twitter. Like I follow them on Twitter. Oh, you really so enjoy this game. There's like <laughs> a predator, there's a predator update. Then there's a you could do a mission with Sam Fisher. Oh, snap. like but you only could do it like at night. Oh, and you can't um you can't kill nobody. Ooh, until like the end where they like they find out somehow. Then you got kill like swarms of people. See then. If- um, no, go ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, but then, but the ghost mode, you have one primary gun and a pistol. So you all, you can't change your guns because usually in the normal game, you could pause the game and change the gun or whatever, switch gun real quick. But with this one. Anthem, I hope you yeah. heard that, you losers. 
<laughs> so <laughs> then, then you gotta um find a a weapons box to change your gun. Then what else you have to do? Oh, and your clip, if your clip isn't empty all the way, you lose like all like a certain amount of bullets off drop the back. Mag. Yeah, yeah, drop mag. Oh, so really? you have you have to why do I want to play it just for that mode then to reload? Because you but you like that type of <laughs> that type it's of like Dark Souls, but goes <laughs> goes recon. But if you're fighting and like you're used to like reload just quick, reload quick, you'll lose. You'll realize, your yeah, it's like you're like, dang, I only got three bullets left. <laughs> Then you run it around with a pistol because the nearest box is behind the enemy. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> I, see, I like challenging games you like that. You got a mini map? Huh? Do you get a mini map still? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, dang, did they go but, all the way? Um, you can do with the mini map, it just shows like red. Wow. Oh, like it's a big red where people are, it's just be a blurry red spot. So they'll be in the big area, like one person, but you have to, like one of your teammates has to notice him, like, oh, so it's like it's a, a radar cardio. until you see them. Um, yeah, like you could just see red, blurry oh, do you, red. Do you get map. to still mark, hot mark people? Yeah, you can use your drone and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. Okay, so Wildlands had PvP. Did you play that? Or did they, they yeah. did have PvP? Did yeah. you play that? And was it fun? Yeah, it was fun because it's on the small. I, I wanted it to be like on a bigger map. Mm. Okay. Like something like Grand Theft Auto. Okay. Like oh. you know how you riding around and just kill somebody. Yeah, I don't want yeah. it to be like just like that. But they like section off a part of the um a certain area of the bigger map. Yeah. And you can just work off of that. See, because you they, can lay down and stuff too. They created this, you know, this PvP like what you see in like Call of Duty and stuff in these little areas. And um huh. only reason why I seen it was people tried to make a competitive scene out of it. Now, it didn't really last. I don't even know yeah. if they're still doing it, but they, they, they tried to create this competitive scene behind it, and it looked amazing. Because it's like, other than Rainbow Six, when Rainbow Six was, was doing this thing, it was in third person. You didn't really see third person shooters like, well, you still don't really see third person shooters yeah. other than, I mean, Fortnite don't really care. Gears of Wars. And Gears of War, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And um yeah, they came out and it looked so technical. Like you had so many different these different equipment. You could use and, all your abilities and stuff? Um certain people. Oh gotcha. Oh, so, so they, they like banned character. certain things. Uh gotcha. yeah, like you could be an assassin, like you have a, a like a skull mask or whatever they dress them up to be. But it's like the point. That's the point. Like, they just run a little bit faster than everybody. Oh, gotcha. Then you can have somebody, like, in the back. He's a sniper. You could just like, recon. Like, he'll just chill. Then, oh, recon is the dude, the only person who can use the drone. Oh, gotcha. So, yeah, they got, like, so, different uh, arts. Uh, see, I like that. Yeah. yeah. So, what else, so, what other games are you playing right now? Because I know you play more than that. <laughs> uh Nah, you don't play any of the free shooters that are out there. You don't, you don't play, play Apex. Apex. Play. Yeah, I haven't played it lately because uh, I couldn't connect to the hotel. Ah, uh, oh, that's that's something I want to ask too. So you ain't got a hotspot, no? <laughs> 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 hey, hey, that's oh, that's crazy. I didn't even think of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, some hotels you can connect. Yeah, some. Yeah, shout out to the Hyatt. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> <shoddy map. laughs> nah, okay. Like well, I mean, I know you, you, uh, you know, you're, you're on the dark side. You're, you're the, you know, the black and green, the Xbox, yeah. uh, you know, fanboy. I'm just going to stick, leave it at that. Uh, what are you thinking about any of the new consoles? Um, no. What kind of new? Have you looked up the new Xbox? I haven't oh. looked it up. Okay, well, see, this is one thing I'm gonna tell y'all about my brother. This kid has no problem playing. Like you heard what he said. Yeah, he's heavily playing Wildlands. This is the only person I've ever heard out loud say I'm still running Wildlands. <laughs> like he didn't even say the Division Two. He didn't say Anthem. He didn't say none of these games. He said Wildlands because a lot of games need. Need internet. internet. No, hey, so no, I got you. I'm, I like story mode. 
that oh no you he's the one guy who religiously played all the battlefield story movies. exactly i remember <laughs> watching him play him yeah that's what i'm saying and i i owned all the battlefields and i never played any of the story modes i never played hey, bad I company didn't know, um sorry to cut you off but i didn't know people didn't play like call of duty oh yeah a lot of people mode. don't play the story like, mode no. even though call of duty's always we had, had that conversation on here and you were shocked you know when I when explaining that because it wasn't that wasn't the main attraction behind it in Battlefield yeah. I I can I can see why you would want to play the the story mode but like yeah. games like Call of Duty I mean use Fortnite as an example don't nobody play that the story mode <laughs> and play, that's what yeah. I was actually hyped when they announced Fortnite story mode okay when they first announced Fortnite I was like oh that game actually looks pretty cool yeah they building set and traps. The whore to come at you. You got different abilities. You get to you get different uh avatars that have different strengths. Like mm-hmm. this guy's a sword wielder, mm-hmm. this guy's a, a builder, a strength, a defense. Like I was excited. And then the and then it comes out. I mean, well, then the beta releases and <laughs> nobody cares. Uh, still it's nobody still cares. beta, people. <laughs> it's, it's still beta. Still a beta. Or did they have an official release? I think I they might have had an official release. I don't know. Let me see. A beta disc you can buy the store. No, they sell. You can go to Best Buy right now, and and they have a a, a a a like a Nintendo Switch case for Fortnite. Now I don't know if Fortnite's on a chip, uh, but yeah, isn't it still free? Yeah, that's the- <laughs> well, no. When you usually when free games when they sell hard copies yeah. or when they sell stuff is usually like you get a premium free, so you'll get bonus this. Bonus that is it still beta? See, okay, it says that it left early access 2018, but it says it in quotation marks. But then it says that they continue. They after that they dropped over 30 patches in 2008. It's hard to say what early access really means. It's oh. a way to make money and test out the game. Wait a second, <laughs> did Fortnite just take full run of early access and change its meaning? Yeah, it, early access oh, now means game. Oh my means, god! Because remember, video we game. always made the joke. I've like I made the joke with Destiny. Yeah, I've always made the joke that. <laughs> hey, oh, this is Destiny. early access. <laughs> yeah, bro, they legit just go ahead. They just went ahead and changed the meaning of early access. But if Look, see, we'll give you a game as close to finish as possible. But and but see now I don't I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna tell you why bro. real quick because we are going off tangent. If or if if we're considering games that that constantly update and give out new patches early access then every then game's early access. everything's early access if you think about it i mean how many, really patches, how many patches has world of warcraft had well no not let's take it to another level though and i'm not talking about <laughs> i'm not talking about Content. I'm talking Updates. about patches. Yeah, talking about patches. Well, I I'm not gonna read too much into the patchwork. Read it again one more time for me, because there was okay. a phrase in there that caught me off guard. So it said, uh, uh, December 20th, 2017, it left early access, reviewing a new map, vaulting mechanics and vehicles. But the patches didn't stop after that. Between December 2017, October 2018, there have been over 30 patches. In 2018, it's hard to say what early access means that's okay that's what caught me by redefining early access because then for me when a game leaves early access and needs to be considered a full release is when they start accepting external extra money so the moment i can spend money outside of the original purchase to access the beta because i remember there's plenty of games where you got to buy in to play the beta and that's fine you know if you support it enough you, you you want to, mm-hmm. but the moment you start charging me for um, microtransactions, the moment you start, oh here's a new map that costs four ninety nine. The moment you start nickel and diming me, your game is fully out. You cannot call it early access, and you got me paying. And then that means it was never in for early, early access. That's my point. That's scary, and that's why that's why they read. That's why I'm saying they redefined it, and that's that's a huge huge change because. You got to think about this. So many games. Like, I really, personally, I blame that's Steam. Multiplayer. Thank you. Yeah, you are a multiplayer. Um, I blame Steam for all of this. Because Steam 
went rampant for a while and at 90 percent of the big titles that were on their cover page was and i'm being dramatic but a lot of the major games that were on their homepage were early access but you got to think about it too it's a way for the the smaller the, these indie developers to keep up with the test of times because you know it's hey we can give you something Knowing that you have a million other games that you can play, all these AAA titles that have came out, mm-hmm. we're just going to give you something. It ain't fully complete, but this is what we got to give you right now. But we're going to make uh, it fully complete uh, then. But right now, you could just play this. It ain't all see, the way there. Okay. I'm with you a thousand percent mm-hmm. because I like that's That's the positives of early access. Yeah. But our problem is what we notice is big industries big developers when they start mimicking what the up and coming people are doing that's a problem hey here it is because like, now okay. the tides have turned now your indies yeah, are why, top dogs why is this company who has all this marketing money who has over 300 team members over across two countries why are you releasing an early access game like there, I'm sorry. I have no sympathy for you. Like I really don't. You you got way too much money. Way you got too big of a company, you know. And I know you know. Uh, I, and see, it, 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 and look at the games that we're referencing. We're referencing, in a sense, mods. Fortnite yes. Battle Royale was a mod. It wasn't the game it that they were trying to market you. PUBG was a mod. It wasn't the yeah. game. It, it's just that. ridiculous. Like this, I know. Exactly. I wonder how he got paid. Because he did. He wasn't. Was he was player unknown? Was he one of the original creators of uh, the game? Yeah. Or of PUBG. He, oh. What happened was, remember, he created. He was creating mods. I want to say for Day Z, and um, oh. he got hired oh. on. To help on with one of those companies. And don't quote us on this. Yeah, we please. Just, I'm we, sorry. I'm just. Yeah. It's been a while, man. I'm glad to just be back. We got a yeah, NFL part. football. Like, you know, just just. Yeah, we just got bear NFL, with NFL me. Please, players bear with sitting me. here like it's nothing. And um, Juice. actually, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you get a chance. Check that video out. A, 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 a YouTube channel I follow on here. I don't know the name. Like I said, I'm sorry. I'm back. I'm just bear with me. They did a great story on him and. Uh, I'll send it to you too so you can watch it. But they tell his story and how he got to the point where he is and how he came to be a part of that. Because remember, he was full-fledged, you know, mad at Fortnite uh, about the ways that they were doing their thing. And it was it was just that. But we're, we're referencing mods. These games are mods. They mm. weren't full games. They were games from other games. So... Uh, uh, well, Fortnite was a yeah, was uh, yeah, Fortnite Battle Royale was a game was from another a, game. To be honest, so yeah, it was something to prep people for the full release. Yeah, like because that's it was they they wanted to be like a Minecraft. Yeah, they're nothing yeah. like a Minecraft. They they Excuse created me. honestly, they ran well. No, they didn't create it because it was um, it was between PUBG and what was the other one? Daisy H one Z one was in the H one Z one. H one Z one. I don't know which one was first, but I remember playing Day Z back in the day. Yeah, Day Z was crazy, bro. I legit got taken hostage, and the person took all my clothes. Yeah, like le- and left me handcuffed. Legit, like I man, things go down in Day Z, bro. We should, we that they should still got definitely get a session on it. Just stream Day Z. Oh, Rust, Rust, bro, like catch I, it when they I've when they read. I've never played it, bro. I, okay, after this, I'll talk to you guys about it. But all of us should get a session on Rush. Rush, <laughs> Rush seems like such because people play the game and they make stories out of their daily, you know, lives and certain missions, certain things that they go to 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 uh, do inside that game. And I guess the server refreshes every certain time, so things you've built will no longer be, and everybody shows up on the oh, wow. island naked, <laughs> and you got to really? start all over. Yeah. Oh dang! Yeah. Oh, hey, one thing I saw that was absolutely bonkers was this guy built trap stores. He like he oh legit, yeah, I think he I know built what stores. About. Where he's like, come on and, in, like, and then come on in. It looks like a full real store, yeah. and people will walk in, and he'll lock the door, and, and the he was like, all right, pick the right door, or you'll die. 
and the people will pick the wrong one and like they'll get dropped down to a spike pit. And this is all in game. Like he mm-hmm. built it and he was like, one guy was like, man, this is a really nice trap. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, well, happy you enjoyed it. Killed him. Or the craziest one was two dudes walked in and they were friends. And one of them was like, dude, please don't kill me. You can kill him. Just please don't kill me. <laughs> and he was like, all right. And he killed one guy and the other dude dropped all his stuff and left. He was like, all right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nah, the, the funny one, it was a funny one where uh, he built a store and people would come to the window and as they would come to the window, he'll re-edit the floor and they'll drop down and it's turrets underneath them. So as soon as they fall down, the turrets will kill them. So people were running in there, people who don't have nothing, like, hey man, can I get a can I get a, a, a arrow or can I get something? And he'll be like, all right, yeah, just come on, come on in. And they will come in. <laughs> what game is this? this is Rust. This is called, it's a game called Rust. You got to watch people. You got to watch videos for it, man. It's some crazy stuff that goes down. Man. Rust, Rust is pretty crazy, but the craziest stuff I've seen ever has been on Daisy. Seriously. Yeah, Daisy. The fact that wild. you can get handcuffed, the fact that you can get like stripped down, they take your boots, everything. Mm-hmm. And, it, it it's it's crazy and then i hate the fact that they these games have a uh, proximity chat so you can like hit loudspeaker in an area and be like i'm going to find you for real yeah and it's real creepy cuz you minding your business walking through this big old island <laughs> well, and all of a sudden you hear somebody you've made it like oh, oh. Yeah, and then it's are you are you scrambling for stuff in a building and you finding like wraps and stuff mm-hmm. and water and then all of a sudden you hear footsteps, and it's like, oh man, like <laughs> the game gets intense. People still play it. I'm I'm bothered that they try to charge full price or close to full price. I think on Xbox. It, it, oh, it's on see Xbox? games like yeah, that. It's Xbox now. Listen, if Fortnite doesn't lose its value, game like Rust is never going to really? lose its value because there's a starting point. There's yeah. literally a starting point. The only thing that you cherish in those games are like schematics. Things where you yeah. don't have to relearn how to make. So it it ha- it always has a new starting point. So in a sense, everyone starts off on the same page other than you having new schematics. You still need the materials to build it. So yeah, man, we should definitely get a session on that one day. That would be amazing. Excuse me. Oh, man. Hey, real talk, man. That, oh, Russ. Okay, so I'm trying to think of all the. Have you ever played any like MMO games like that? No, um, I would is actually. A shooter recommend... fan. Huh? Like, is it genre of video games? Is it mostly shooters? Yeah, your favorite genre. Like, what do you normally like? Shooters and what's what would be um, sad falling like Assassin's Creed type? Oh, okay, or action RPGs? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you do play a lot of Assassin's Creed. So that's like, that's have you ever like finished any of them? The first one, but the <laughs> Black Flag, I could load it right now, and I'm stuck in the ocean fighting the shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Dude, yeah, it's like you can't get away. You know what's so bad, bro? I have this bad habit, as you guys know, and Travis had to coax me into buying a new game in order for me to finish another one. Mm-hmm. I don't finish games, mm-hmm. but I religiously buy games. Oh, I'll go back to it. I, I have. Okay, See, I, so I right believe now, you. I believe you, Brian. Man, uh, well, yeah, the man like, told you he played Wildlands. <laughs> believe this man. That's like Assassin's Creed, though. It's a big. Yeah, yeah. Open you're right. World action RPG, yeah. Did yep. you like The Division? Yeah, did you like The Division too? Yeah, I still like I like it better than one. Yeah. For some reason. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I feel like it's less people playing for some reason. Yeah, it does. Seem it like is. It, it doesn't feel. Yeah, you, the article did say that. You gotta, man. I'm telling you, listen. They don't have the recipe. I won't even go into it. Yeah. Because man. I can talk to you guys about that off off screen off uh, recording, and yeah. maybe one day I can explain it for the umpteenth time. But those games aren't. They're hot, and then they're super cold. That's exact. Yeah, there yeah. is no in between. Yeah. You know, they're just super hot, super cold. I eat Anthem. Hey, I'm so (laughs) happy I stood my ground. Like, I'm not going to talk about the developer too much because somebody is in Madden. Um, But I will say that Anthem, as soon as I played the beta, I knew it was going to be a dud. 
I knew, I, and I've said it. You can go back and listen to my recordings before the game released. It was hollow. It was fun when it was fun, but they promised so much during E3 and in all the videos leading up. Right. If they wouldn't have put out any videos and legit just released the game, right. it would have been fine. I hate but that. They overhyped it. I hate that we had this conversation and I remember everything I said. That's the yeah. same time we talked about betas, why betas are ruining games. It's the same thing I said. You really still believe that? Yes, I believe that. I think, I think betas. I I personally feel betas are if betas they're like they're 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 I get what do you say the road uh, the road to hell was paved with good intentions. Man, they betas, have good intentions, bro. Yes, they do. No, as the consumer, I, as a consumer, I believe it's the best thing ever. I listen. I think that you're right. I think betas are the best thing available for people who play video games that want to try out a game that they're interested in or they may have been following for some time. The mm. issue is, we just was talking about early access games and yeah. putting out halfway material Take just so you can put out another patch and put out another patch Brilliant. and then give out another Brilliant. content thing. Oh, my bad. What happened? He said it takes out the thrill. Yeah. Like, just and imagine, that's like, exactly. You're younger, you didn't get a chance to watch gameplay. Yeah. But I did. No. I see, did. But I remember. PlayStation, I was, PlayStation had PlayStation. First PlayStation Xbox had Bagels. It right? used to get the magazine and the disc would be in there. Exactly. Uh, what was it called? Power? Not. What was it called? It had a name. It was a very specific name. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It came with the little. It came with the disc, disc and the it paper. Was, um, the, yeah, but place it, it. Yeah, go ahead. Either way, you can't name one game, one beta that you played that gave you everything possible in the game in that beta. Even True. when I remember, oh, yeah. I remember Tomb Raider. Remember who? Remember playing Tomb Raider? You played the beginning part of the game where you had to try to get past the tiger. Yep. And then, I mean, I used to die to the tiger every day. I used to die on purpose just to see what it looked like. And gotcha. But that was the beta. Once you beat that part, it was the credits. <laughs> That's exactly how it went. Now, now we play- that was a good beta. Yes, it was. Oh, really? See, I never played, played it. Yeah, because you could do multiplayer. Like, y'all get four of y'all. Y'all just working up. Work, was it a little hill or something? Mm-hmm. The, beta for, the beta for Wildlands inspired me to buy it. Okay. It... That made me 100% want to buy it. Let me tell you the scenario. I don't know if we ran with you. It was me, you, Anthony, and Dougie, I believe. Uh-huh. Um, so me and we're on. We get to this like drug deal, and we, we're trying to freeze the dude, like get him to stop and drop his stuff. He starts shooting and hops in a buggy and takes off. And I'm running to the side, and Anthony's yelling, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Somebody's driving, and as they're getting ready to take off, they're peeling off. Somebody's leaning out the window, shooting, shooting the at the car, trying to hit the – I was like, shoot the tire, shoot the tire. We, it was the most intense moment I ever experienced, mm-hmm. and I was and I got to do it with people. And yeah. I was like, yes. And I, bought, I pre-ordered the game I and right after that. that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I just – I just, you know, just and that- certain, yeah, but no, I get it. When companies abuse it, when you got a, a year old, well, hey, we just experienced what PUBG and uh, I, I swear PUBG and uh, PUBG Arc, um, excuse me, and Fortnite, those are some of the longest betas I've ever seen that were on console. Mm-hmm. Let's rephrase on console because mm-hmm. PC, there's some games like I played a game called Starbound. Um, that I was playing by Chucklefish, the same people who made, uh, I believe they're the same ones who made uh, Stardew Valley. Um, <coughs> they made a space, I want to say it was them. They made a, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, folks. They made um, uh, a space exploration game. It was in beta for a very long time. And you had to pay 30, like 30 bucks to buy it. Um, but we're rambling, we're ranting, we're, we're getting to that marker. Um, I was just getting started, man. I'm glad. Oh, my bad. Back. My you know bad. No, yeah. Hey, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. No, right? I, hey. I'm glad to have you on. Uh, you know, Brian. I'm like I said, like we were talking about. I'm proud of you. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. I haven't been excited for football in a minute, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to watch every game now. Mm-hmm. Like, 
first I game care now. Saturday. Oh yeah, you do got your first game coming Man. up, folks. Yeah, That's what's up. against the Raiders, right? Yep. Yep. Um, folks, y'all make sure to follow Mr. Bryant Jones, number sixty-two for the LA Rams. Please send some positive energy his way. We gotta, we gotta give him all the spirit energy we can so he can launch the spirit bomb. Um, and uh, do you want to give out your social media? You don't have to. Nah, All right. Put it. It'd be down below. Oh, yeah. He's going to put it down below. Put it <laughs> yeah, social I media down you. below. <laughs> just, just search Brian Jones Rams. No, <laughs> Google me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I Googled you right when you popped yeah, up. Yeah, I, I ain't going to lie. Like, yeah. It's pretty crazy. I'll be yeah. Googling you too. For real? Yeah, you can Google. You I ain't Googled you. yourself? Uh-uh. Wow. Bro, this fool has to Google himself. <laughs> I I Google like I'm shocked you're not one of the main topics that pop up. Like as soon as I open Google, oh, that's funny. Yeah, you got to Google yourself. It's pretty. It's pretty hilarious. You have to. Yeah, it pop up. Man. You pop up. Watch. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> you you pop up and an actor pop up. But if you bypass the actor, you're the first result on Google. Boop. That's funny. See. Look at that! <laughs> look, <laughs> yo, look. This is this is wild. Oh man, they got they took my college number. Yep. Oh, that is that you. Funny. This is so funny, folks. He's never done this. <laughs> we got to do that live on air. Oh. So, but let's wrap it up, guys. This has been amazing. We are back. We are doing this, and we are going to make sure to get more interviews out. Um, I like doing interviews. Let us know in the comments how you guys feel about it. Hit us up on everything we're on. Shout out to the Tone Dev Network, the fam. Tone, we are here. We are present and accounted for. Appreciate you, uh, Tone. Make sure to check out all of our other shows, Hostially Awkward, Us. Um, check out um, the Dev Fresh show. We are part of a big network, and Tone Dev Network has everything you could want from a podcast. If you want funny, it's there. If you want entertainment it's there it's all there for you um check out all our links nerds noir the gear is up and available links are below mm-hmm. follow our individual pages um i'm, I'm streaming saying right after this notes. oh you about to stream right after this i got you um yeah we be streaming i stream on facebook i left twitch like ninja oh we didn't even talk about that <laughs> we'll talk about that later <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money I didn't. Bro, I didn't know how I felt about bag it. Bag had gonna to lie. be so huge. You said a hundred uh, deal he close left, to a hundred million. Bro, he left fifteen. What did he leave? Like fifteen million subscribers or something? Yeah, he just walked away from it. Just walked away. Left yeah. the account. That is, bro. Do, I don't know how. You know, I, I money you gotta throw at me to throw that one in the hand better than two in the bush. They gonna follow him. That yeah, part too. That's hey, exactly we, why he did it. Yes, yeah, like, bro. He just and then guess what? If Xbox released first. Because you know Mixer is tied to Microsoft. Mm-hmm. That I think Mixer is the only streaming service that's directly tied to a console. Oh uh, yes, it is. Have that is that's intense. Xbox. I wonder how. See, we get into something else at the last minute, folks. We gotta go. Peace. Peace. You can say bye. Bye. <laughs>